Today I'm going to show you how to play Sega games on your Wii U for free. Now how we're doing this is installing the Genesis Plus GX channel which allows you to play Sega slash Mega CD games, Genesis slash Mega Drive games, Master System, Game Gear, and SG-1000 games. So there's a wide variety of different games you can choose. Let's get it set up today. This video is going to include how to set up the emulator and play the games, how to get the virtual Wii channel on your virtual Wii menu, but it won't include how to get the games, I'm not allowed to show you that, and it also won't include how to get the Genesis Plus GX channel on your Wii U menu. That'll be a separate video, so subscribe and stay tuned for that one in the future. It'll be coming out not too long after. So getting started, click the link below, it should take you to this Wii Brew page for Genesis Plus and here you can read all about it you can see which controllers are compatible but you can read up on your own time let's go and to the right side click download and it should take you to this page just click gen plus gx 1.7.5 and it'll download a zip file in the bottom left once you have that downloaded we're going to go and download the channel wad in order to get the channel on our virtual wii menu Link below, it'll take you to this Google Drive page where it should be a Genesis Plus GX VWI WAD. Just click download and it should download in the bottom left as well as a WAD file. And then now, if you don't already have a WAD manager, click the link below for YAM and it should take you here. And just click on YAM and this will be what we use to install the WAD. But if you have another WAD manager like Wii Mod Lite or any others, you can use that as well. Those are our three downloads. So now we can open up our SD card that we use to mod our Wii U. Here's what mine looks like. And then go ahead and open Gen Plus GX, the first link we downloaded. And just highlight the top three files, apps, Gen Plus Cube and Gen Plus Wii. And just drag it onto your uh, SD card root. Now before closing the zip file, if you want to read up on the emulator, just open up this PDF and you can get more information about it here. But once those files are on, you can close the zip file and now we're going to right click on the root of our SD card, create a new folder called GEN plus, GEN plus, and that's all. Now going in here, open up that folder we just created, right click and we're going to create a ROMs folder. Now. Once we run this emulator once on our virtual Wii, it's gonna add different folders, but we're gonna just add the ROMs folder for now because that's the one we're gonna put our games in. To place the ROMs in, just go into your ROMs folder that we just created, and then grab your backed up games. I have two here, one for SMS and one for Genesis, so I'm gonna just drag them both in here. I have an SMS file and an MD file, but that is where we place our ROMs. And now back on the root of your SD card, if you don't already have a WAD folder, create one and open it up and just drag the Genesis Plus GX WAD inside. Now just double check that it says VWI as we don't want to install a WAD that's meant for the Wii. So once that's in there, we're set. But if you don't have a WAD manager, open up YAM that we downloaded. Double click YAM and just drag this apps folder onto the root of your SD card. I already have this app so I'm just going to replace the files in the destination and once you've done that we're going to double check so we should have a gen plus folder on the root of our SD card with our ROMs. Great. And then in your apps you should see gen plus GX. If you open it up it should have these three files. And then you should also have WAD manager in order to install the WAD. So once you have all of that set up we're ready to head over and I'll meet you on the virtual Wii. And once you're over on your virtual Wii, we're going to load up the homebrew channel. And once your apps load, we're going to load up Genesis Plus GX. So we're going to load it up once just to make sure it works, and then we're going to go and install the channel. Press A. We'll get a dis disclaimer here. Just press A to continue. Once we're in the emulator, we're just going to click exit and return to loader. And now we'll go install the channel. Just we had to make sure it works first. So once your homebrew apps load, go and find yet another WAD manager or whatever WAD manager you use and load it up. It's important to note you need a original Wii Remote without Wii Motion Plus. Those ones don't seem to work for this app. But just click A on 249, click A on disable, click A on Wii SD slot, and here's our WADs. So use the D-pad and go down to Genesis Plus GX, press A, 
and here you can install it or uninstall it if you ever want to do that in the future but let's install it quickly and uh, it should go pretty fast as it's not that large when it's done just press A and then press the home button and it should bring us back to the homebrew channel press the home button again and let's go check out our new channel and just like that we have our Genesis Plus GX channel on our Wii, virtual Wii menu This looks very cool. But anyways, let's just start it up and uh, let's run the emulator. So once your emulator loads up, just click on load game and you'll see these list of files. You can select any one of them. If you want to organize your ROMs on your SD card to have folders for Mega Drive, for Mega CD, SG-1000, etc., you can. And I'll show you how to select the proper folder. So let's just click on Mega Drive and we see we have our ROMs right here. If you press B, it'll take you to the previous directory and if in your ROMs folder, you have separate folders for different systems, you can select it here and then your ROMs will show up. But let's go ahead and start up a game and you can see that it works. And here we go, now we're playing Sonic. You know, I never actually played much Sonic as a kid, but a lot of Mario. But anyways, that's it for the video. I hope you found it helpful, and if you're interested in getting the Wii U channel for Genesis Plus, subscribe and keep an eye out for that video in the future. And if you're interested in more Wii U tutorials, check out my Wii U modding playlist linked below. But anyways, that's it for the video. I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.